New AP. She got it, Juice. That's right. I got you juicy entertainment news for Tuesday. Shaq wants his money back. He's suing his former marijuana business partner for more than a million dollars in a new lawsuit. Shaq claims that he invested $150,000 into a new marijuana biz back in December of 2016 and says that his investment was supposed to help the company pursue opportunities in the field of legal cannabis. But then in late 2017, the company still had no licenses, no revenue, or no operations. So Shaq said that when he and his attorneys pressed for details on how their money was being used, the company initially did not respond. Now, you know that's not good news, right? Then in 2018, he says after he threatened litigation, the company agreed to pay him back in installments of $10,000 each. This is the part where they pretend that they're going to actually do something, right? The problem is the company only played the first installment of $20,000, and now he's suing to get his initial investment back with interest. Don't mess with the shack. I gave you 150 grand back in 2016. You owe me a million. All right? That's right. He's asking for a million uh, for allegedly mismanaging the uh, company. He wants his money back. Michael Strahan is going to space. The former NFLer and talk show host announced on Good Morning America this morning that he is super hyped he's going to be taking a flight on the Blue Origin rocket, the New Shepard, on December 9th. Jeff Bezos invited him, and uh, you know, he's uh, been kind of geeked about the whole thing after covering the first human space launch uh, this summer. And his trip will be the company's third human space flight. He's already been preparing for his journey, of course, getting fitted for a spacesuit, testing out his flight seat. Said he's going to be heading to West Texas for more training. And he's going to be joined by, this is pretty cool, Laura Shepard. That name sounds familiar, right? The eldest daughter of Alan Shepard, who was the first man to fly into space. And also, Lane and Cameron Best will become the first parent-child pair to fly into space. They'll be on that trip as well. Uh, it's good to be rich. A TV host who flew 10,000 miles for an exclusive interview with Adele has had it canceled after he told her he hadn't listened to her album. What? Uh, this is crazy. An Australian TV show host who landed an exclusive interview with Adele. He flew 10,000 miles to see her and had his interview pulled by Sony after he admitted that he hadn't listened to her new album. Uh, Matthew Doran, he's the host of Channel 7's The Weekend Sunrise Morning Show. He flew from London to Sydney on November 4th to interview Adele in her only album interview with an Australian media outlet. This was huge for the network. So during the interview, when Adele asked him what he thought of the new album, he said he hadn't listened to it yet. Dude, you're supposed to lie about that. Come on. And of course she was offended. I mean, like, why are you interviewing me if you haven't even listened to my album? Now, the interview went through and it ran to completion, but Sony said there's no way in hell that that is running. And uh, now, of course, Matt has come forward saying that he missed the email that had a copy of the album in it that he was supposed to listen to before he went over there. Um, I'm sure extremely embarrassed. There were some rumors that he got suspended. That was not tr true. But here's the thing. Uh, I don't know how this is going to play out, but his trip with his two colleagues to London were part of a rights package that cost the network a million dollars. Yeah, things that make you go, hmm, I wonder if he's going to be demoted. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Tuesday. Make sure you lock it in again tomorrow at 1230 for more of the juice right here on the all-new KISS 96.